You know what else happened today that made today amazing? I totally bought dinner for 89 cents. Yeah, that's amazing, right? And this is one of the reasons that I will only shop at Publix, even though, you know, they might be a little bit more expensive. In my opinion, they're not. People always tell me that they are more expensive. I have not seen it. I've seen it cheaper, but I haven't seen it more expensive. So I went to Publix, right? And if you guys don't have a Publix, it's our grocery store. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna have breakfast for dinner tonight. So we're gonna make biscuits and gravy. And for biscuits and gravy, you need sausage, biscuits, and flour and milk. We already have the flour and the milk, so I was like, all right, I need to get some biscuits and some sausage. So I go down the biscuit aisle, and I was like, 89 cents for biscuits. Sweet. Score one for the home team. Then I go down to the, the sausage aisle, and I was like, oh, turkey sausages, right? They're already pre-cooked, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. I hope it's going to turn out okay. But... I went down the sausage aisle, I see them, and there's a sign. It says, buy one, get one free. I was like, oh, perfect. I only had $5. Those were $3.50, buy one, get one free, plus 89 cents. Cutting it close, right? So that's like, uh, what it was, like, well, let's say call it $4.50, okay? And I went up to the front counter, and she's like, that'll be $7.89. I was like, what? Those were buy one, get one free. And she's like, I'll be right back. So she runs down to the very back of the store, looks at it, sign on it, says buy one, get one free. She comes back, she says, well, that was from last week, but because we're Publix, you found the error in us and you get it for free. So I got my sausage for free and all I had to pay for was the biscuits and I had enough le money left over to get some more flour and some more active yeast. We're gonna make bread tonight. It's a great day. It is entirely too easy to make bread like this. Four hours later, we will have bread. Oh heck, for today's science experiment, I might as well teach you guys how to blow up a balloon inside of a jar. That sounds like fun, right? Here's something fun real quick first that you should try with air pressure, and that's try to actually put a balloon inside of the jar and blow it up. It'll stop after a while because it's too hard to do. You ready? So that's as far as I can blow it up inside of the jar. It's actually like coming out of the jar now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow it up to that size outside of the jar and then put it inside of the jar using science. Here we go. Does not go inside of the jar. Let's do science. So now I've already tried this twice before now and the first time it blew up the balloon and the second time it worked. So let's give it a try. Strike a match, right? Take a little bit of a paper towel. Light said paper towel on fire with adult supervision, of course, stick inside of the jar, and then place the balloon over the top of the jar. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Wonder if it'll go all the way in. It went all the way in before. Guess not. Wonder if I can push it in now. Hmm. Oh, I made it worse. I don't even know if I can get it out now, but I can lift up the jar, that's for sure. Now you'll see a lot of people on the internet and everywhere else doing this with a hard-boiled egg. You hard-boil an egg, you peel off the, the, what's that stuff called, shell? And then you put it on top of a milk jar and then you light a candle underneath it and it sucks the, the egg down inside. I figured it was kind of cooler with the balloon. Let's try something else. Look at how our bread looks. Wow, it's starting to look very bread-like. Hey, bread machine, what'd you do to my giant loaf of bread that was, like, poking up here? Oh, buddy, look at that. That's, like, straight-up bread for realsies. You know that one friend that you have that always bets you that you can't get the quarter out of the bowl of green water without getting your hands wet? Here's how you show them. See, you take a candle, and you light the candle while it's sitting in the center here. Then you take a cup... You stick it over top of the candle, but not over top of the quarter. And all the water is magically sucked up into the cup. Magically scientific. And then you can grab the quarter without getting your fingers wet or too wet. Let's hear it for vacuums and air pressure. Yay, vacuums and air pressure. The, all the oxygen's being sucked out by the flame, thus sucking the trying to suck from underneath bring all the water into the cup science i'll see you guys tomorrow hey this is chris from the sav and you've been watching the tim tracker <laughs> and now it's time to pay the price of spontaneous deep voices i baked you guys a loaf of bread